Good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. Today we're going to be taking a look at Android 11 Developer Preview 2. And as you can see here, we are on Android R. Um, if we go back though, funny thing, if we go down here to Software Update, sorry, I'm trying not to show my phone number in there. Uh, if we go to Software Update, it says we're updated to Android R, but then right here it says Android 10. So there is some conflicting stuff in here um, on whether you're on Android 10 or on Android R or 11. We are on 11 indeed. Um, Everything has been running great, battery life has been okay, no issues there. Um, I have noticed some stutter in some apps going back and forth to pages. Um, it will kind of hang for a second and then go. I don't know if that's the app or if it's developer preview 2 that that's an issue in. We do have some new stuff. I don't have any notifications. Oop, I do have a silent notification right here, so we're good. We can see it. Um, they have added some spacing here on your notifications between your silent notifications, your conversations, and your alerting notifications. So the difference in the... Um, the gap is a little bit more defined so you can see that we also have this new button right here called history if you turn this on you can see all your notification history right here so you can um, if you clear a notification from here like if I cleared that notification and then I went into history you would be able to find that notification again and see what the message was so if you clear something by accident or whatever it may be you can always go back in there and see what they said or see what the message was or the notification or whatever was. So that is one thing that they added. There aren't a ton of under the hood change or uh, UI changes. Most of the things are under the hood um, so we can't see them. They did add some security stuff in here to where if you uh, have face unlock enabled you can require that you have to have your eyes open and this is a Pixel 4 and 4 XL exclusive. It's not available on the other devices right now. Um, but you have to require your eyes to be open for face unlock to work. So that is something new that they added. There's some new stuff with the keyboards. It's not in here yet, but um, developers can change the way their keyboard cam comes up. It, it comes up a little bit smoother now rather than being um, stuttery. It works especially well on third-party keyboards, or it's supposed to at least. Um, up here, we can add emergency information. That's something that you can clear. Um, remove the suggestion but the Bluetooth devices and the Wi-Fi that stays at the top so that is permanent there um, so it's like a quick setting for those that's pretty much it right now in that they changed the notifications layout like I said oh, one other big thing if we go into styles and wallpapers here there we go styles and wallpapers here um, they did change this down here so you get a full pretty much view up here at the top and then these icons are smaller, so the previews are a little bit smaller, but if you go into one of them, you still get your full size there. Um, one other new section here is the clock. So it looks like we're going to be able to change our always on display clock uh, at some point, either the home screen or always on display clock, not sure which, but there's only one in here right now. It's the, just the default one. They haven't actually added any choices yet, um, so you can't change it yet, but that option is there, so hopefully in future builds, We'll get some options and we can check that out and see exactly what it does. But that's Android 11 Developer Preview 2. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.